So in case the Safari browser is missing on your iPhone, then here's what you can do. For this tutorial, I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro running iOS 16, but these instructions should work on pretty much any iPhone. So the first thing you want to check is if the app is available in the app library. So in the list of apps installed, just go to the extreme right hand side until you get to app library and look for Safari browser. So you can also use the search function to just search Safari. Now, in case you don't find Safari, then here's something else you can do. Go to settings. So let me just go back to the main settings page. So under settings, go to screen time, tap on that. Under screen time, go to content and privacy restrictions, tap on that. And then go to allowed apps, tap on that. And then you should see Safari, go ahead and enable that. The reason you're not seeing Safari is because that is disabled. So now when you go back to uh, the home screen, you should find Safari browser. It should be back, at least in the app library. So you can search for it now in the app library. There it is. And you can long press on it and select add to home screen. If I can find that option. I guess it's available on the home screen. So let's let's find out. Anyway, from one of the home screens, just swipe down and search Safari and then long press and then uh, look for the option. If it's not there, then it's probably already on one of the home screens. Well, it doesn't seem to be there. So let's go back to the app library, find Safari browser and then long press on Safari browser and then you can drag the icon to one of the home screens. And now you have Safari back on one of the home screens and working on your iPhone. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.